I mentioned on both my six month and 12 month ownership experience videos that my Renault Zoe's sat nav had become very slow to search. Well, after a bit of experimentation, I found a way to speed it up again. So that's the subject of today's quick video. When I first got my Renault Zoe, I was actually quite impressed with the built-in sat-nav system. The functionality seemed pretty comprehensive, and whilst it was never lightning fast, it seemed quick enough. Then, one day, a couple of months after I got it, a search was suddenly very slow. It seemed to be better the next time, but over the next few weeks, the searches seemed increasingly to take an age. I tried doing a few things, like resetting the sat-nav, and rebooting the infotainment system to try to fix it, but to no avail. I was confused about why it had become so slow when it was okay to begin with, but I assumed that there was little I could do. What was odd about the resets available from the address list was that it didn't clear the previous search results at all. So the other day, with a few minutes spare while sat in the car, I decided to dig a little deeper. Whilst rooting around in the navigation system submenus, I found an option to clear the previous results. So I gave that a go, and that seems to have solved the problem. I know that most people immediately bypass the built-in sat-nav in favour of Android Auto or Apple CarPlay, so I'm not sure that many people will have witnessed this particular problem. But by the same token, it's not all that likely to have been documented elsewhere, so let me show you now. When I first tried this, I actually chose slightly the wrong route. I thought that when entering an address, if you remove the keyboard, you get to this bottom ellipsis, and I thought that this reset would delete all of the previous addresses. In fact, that is not the case. What we need to do instead is we need to be in this display, where we've got the navigation screen, the map, full screen on the display, and once we do that, we get this menu button, which gets us to additional options to do with navigation that you can't get to any other way. So we click the menu button at the bottom there, and we can now see that we've got previous destinations and favorite destinations as options in the menu. If we go into previous destinations, then on the addresses list, if we click the ellipsis, we can choose to delete all addresses, and then when we confirm it, all of the addresses of the history of where we've been are deleted. Note that routes are separate. Route is a bit more complicated process where you're choosing a location, including going to charging stops. So you may need to delete routes separately. And note too that favorite destinations, this list is empty because I haven't saved any favorites at the moment, but these are also separate. So you can choose to keep your favorites if you want to. Um, favorite addresses, favorite routes, without necessarily deleting absolutely everything. So we do have a bit of choice here as to what we delete. But now what we should find is if we go back to navigation and choose a location to go to, we will have some addresses left. And these are addresses, I think, which have been saved to my Google account. So some of them remain, and yet there are a few enough that we don't have a problem. And a search to a location should go very quickly and we're straight into choosing a, the road for 300 yards. A, a navigation choice. And that's snappy enough for me. That's much, much quicker than it was when I was having the problem. As you can see from that clip, not all addresses are removed from the recent addresses list when doing this. I'm not really sure why that is. I wonder if they might have been saved to my online Renault account or something. However, enough are clear to fix the problem, and that's what matters to me. This might just be a short-term fix. It might come back again after a month or two. But even if that's the case, I prefer having to delete everything on a regular basis than having it respond as slowly as it had been doing before the clear. So, if you have a Zoe and use the built-in sat-nav, and this slowdown happens to you, now you know one way in which you might be able to resolve it. Thanks for watching. I hope this has been useful to you. If you have a Zoe, do you use the built-in sat-nav? I'd like to hear your experiences in the comments section below. Your comments and questions are most welcome as ever. If you've liked the video, then it's a help to me if you click the thumbs up button. That tells YouTube that you've enjoyed it, 
and YouTube may promote it to others based upon that. And of course, click subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks.